it's Mr. Chenky here. In today's video, I wanted to walk you guys through how I usually unpack and annotate um, a number of persuasive texts for the APA2 unit. So we know that in APA2, you're going to be doing exactly the same thing you did for APA1, but this time you're going to be asked to analyze multiple persuasive texts, so more than one. So on the right hand side of the screen, you're going to notice that I have found a number of persuasive texts about the uh, death of Queen Elizabeth II. So as always, whenever you're given an APA sack, you always get a background information box, which is up here. And today we're gonna have three texts. So text A in yellow, text B in green, and text C, which is actually a visual text, a cartoon, is text C. Okay, so I'm going to, in this video, essentially show you guys how I would unpack and annotate these three persuasive texts using our APA annotation checklist, which you guys were given a copy of late last term. So I'm going to be identifying all of these key elements um, in um, these three texts. I'm going to show you how I do that and how I go about the process of doing that as well. Okay, so let's begin. So the first thing that I do whenever I get an APA2 sack, and I know it's going to be most, multiple texts, but before I actually read the different texts, I always read the background information box, and that's something I would encourage all students to do as well. And the background information box essentially ticks off the first two elements of the checklist, source and context. Okay, so it reads, background information, Queen Elizabeth II, the United Kingdom's longest serving monarch, died aged 96 on September the 8th, 2022. Reactions to Queen Elizabeth II's death have been mixed. On September 20th, 2022, Victorian newspaper The Age published a series of letters to the editor in which Melburnians discussed the Queen's life, her funeral and her legacy. These letters were accompanied by an illustration by cartoonist Kathy Wilcox. Okay, so pretty much just from that background information box, I know what the source of the article is or what the source of the upcoming three texts is um, and the context of the three texts as well. So first thing that I would be um, annotating is the date. So notice that um, these letters to the editors and the cartoon, they're all published on September the 20th. So date of publication is what I would be annotating. Um, and I would also bring in some of my own knowledge about this issue. And I'd be saying uh, this was during the official period of mourning after the Queen's passing. Okay. Um, we also know the name of the publication, which is the Age Newspaper. So I'd be going like this and I'd be annotating name of publication. We know the Age is also a Victorian newspaper. So this potentially is related to the audience of the texts below as well because we know that the age is targeted towards Victorian readers. I'd also be highlighting um, letters to the editor. That's the text type. And we know that letters to the editors are written by members of the general public, of the general Victorian public. Okay, and that's important because the people writing uh, this Oh, these letters are actually people like us, just everyday people from Victoria. Okay. Um, and the author's names are obviously listed here. Here as well. And the cartoonist's name is Kathy Wilcox. Okay. So that's pretty much source done. And context, we know that all of these texts, text A, text B, and text C, the cartoon, they're all going to be about this. Um, so that is the context of the article. I'm just gonna go like this so you can see the different annotations that I've made. So we know that in each of these letter to the editors, 
the writers of them, as well as Kathy Wilcox, the cartoonist. Um, so I probably should have actually done that. Kathy Wilcox, uh, illustrator, cartoonist, who drew text C. We know that each of these three texts, A, B, and C, they're all going to be discussing uh, the Queen's life, her funeral, and perhaps reactions to the period of mourning, and they're all going to be debating and discussing her legacy. Okay? So, just by um, doing those, or just by reading the background information box, we've essentially ticked off the source and the context part of the annotation.